Clink. I think we start most of our videos by drinking coffee. If we film in the morning. <laughs> and by morning, it's I mean- It's 1 p.m. Hello. Hi. Today. What? Yeah. <laughs> I can do the outro. <laughs> We are going to be drinking. Not coffee. Also coffee, but yes, cocktails. Woo! Cocktails that we make here, but buy out there. We Cocktail have, kits is what he's saying. <laughs> we've done meal kits, we've done restaurant meal kits. We are moving into alcohol kits. So because that's just the way the pandemic's going. It's been a year. Drink responsibly. A lot of restaurants have started doing cocktail kits. So make at home meals, but not a meal, it's a cocktail. We've ordered three that we're gonna try out today. Today we're gonna be doing cocktail kits, but not just cocktail kits. We're just going to be doing cocktail at home cocktails. Yes, from uh, local businesses. What was that? <laughs> Not necessarily from bars either. Yes, one is from a restaurant, one's from a bar, one is from a alcohol delivery service. Yeah, so cool. we're gonna try all of those, see how they go and how they compare and you'll have to sit there and watch us. It's 1 p.m. It is 1 p.m. We have coffee in one hand, we'll have a, a drink in the other. Darn right. Where do you wanna start? The top one. Stanley wants us to start with so, the top one. We'll start with the one that coincides with the coffee cup I'm drinking out of, which is Storm Crow Manor. Storm Crow is a, I think, Vancouver-based company yes. that moved to Toronto, but Canadian small business. They are around the block from us. They have a location in the village in Toronto. We ordered a kit from them. Stanley, <laughs> you're in the way. <laughs> Came in this nice paper bag with their branding on it. It is Release the Kraken. <laughs> I guess a little context, this bar is a nerd bar. Yeah. Um, everything's like sci-fi, pop culture, you know, like the realms of like Star Wars and Lord of the Rings and... The restaurant to go to, uh, well, I guess it's a, is it a bar? I don't know what it is, but it's a restaurant, a restaurant bar. bar, grill, diner facility. You don't have to say bar and grill, it's not a Kelsey's. <laughs> They do so much really good food, but when you go to the actual place, each room is themed and they are insanely cool themed. I'll put some pictures, but it is so cool to go and you should definitely take a chance to go check it out if you're a nerd or like nerdy mm -hmm. things. Yeah. Um, one other cool thing about this is that they have a lot of really cool cocktails where they put dry ice, they do... We got a drink there once that was served in like a big Darth Vader helmet. And when you order it, they come around the corner and the Imperial March is playing and then they have the head come out. Yeah, that was intense. So it says, from the depths of the oceans, terrorizing sailors for aeons to a crafted cocktail kit packed for you, the mighty Kraken has been released. <gasps> a strong drink made for you sea-worthy scurvy dogs to enjoy the bubbling seas in your glass. Just Except. a note. <laughs> No shade on them, but they it's supposed to come with dry ice. They didn't have dry ice. I get it. It's a pandemic. You're running a restaurant. Dry ice is expensive. Um, but to make up for it, not only did they include a shot glass, these light up cubes that light up. Can you get like a makeup beauty shot? Maybe. Yeah. Oh, yeah. oh, kind of. You oh. can kind of see it. Our hands are they look cool. cooler when they're in a drink. And yesterday we also got pizza from them and they threw in a giant cookie, giant which we cookie. will picture here. It was so good. There's I guess none left to show you in the video because it was so good. We ate all of it. That's really good. Mm -hmm. It's a big cookie. Great cocktail. On a side note, and I've already shown you this once, but because we got delivery from them, they threw in this mug that changes colors when it's hot and it says caffeine engaged. All right. <laughs> and it is super cute. I'm like, I'm way too I'm into excited. it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> all right, so let's start with this one. What so, do we got? This is essentially, is this a dark and stormy? Is that what this is? It's, yeah. It's dark rum, ginger beer, and lime juice. Kraken dark rum. And this is like such a cute little bottle. And also the fact that, I mean, I know that that's why they called it that, but like that they can call something release the Kraken and Kraken. And Kraken. Kraken. Uh -huh. This is lime juice in a mm -hmm. little, uh, little four ounce to go for those of you in the biz. Like they give you enough that you could probably have yeah. more than just these cocktails this, with that rum. This is not two drinks. No. We actually have Kraken rum. Maybe we should use our open bottle first. Yeah. You know, FIFO for those in the biz. Oh my God. We have the exact bottle of Kraken rum that they gave us. I have released it. They also gave us this spicy ginger beer and a lime. Lime, lime to the lime, lime, Ooh. lime, lime, lime. Watch me while I cut this lime. Release the Stanley. I need a drink after that. Let's start it out. Off. Make it. <laughs> How to make one release the Kraken cocktail. Cut limes into six wedges. You don't need to see cutting limes. No! I'm wearing black! <laughs> what have I done? Please excuse the cat hair on me now. Hey, you want to plug the shirt you're wearing? Yeah! 
This shirt, I am wearing my friend Riley's shirt. If you have not met my friend Riley, you should. You should check them out on Instagram. Uh, his Instagram is FTM underscore adventurous. Uh, and this is from his new clothing line called Purely Human. And there are lots of this beautiful logo on every kind of clothing item and, and mugs and fun things like mm. that. And it is just so cute. I love the sweater. The sweater is really soft and nice. I haven't stolen it yet, but I will. Yeah. You should definitely check them out. Support trans business. So, we cut limes. In a rocks glass or one the same size, add one dry ice. We don't have dry ice. Fill the remainder of the glass with regular ice. Okay. Oh, so instead of dry ice, we're, we're putting in the, the fun little colored cube things. We should have dumped it instead. Dumpies. Dump it. <laughs> <laughs> and then we're going to dump it. Glass with ice. Boom. Ice in a glass, two ounces of Kraken, which is a dark rum. A dark spiced rum? I think it's a spiced rum. Black spiced rum. Bizarre and fierce sea creatures as seen through the eyes of imagination. This like fits so well with their brand. Yeah, like, oh, did you see that? Okay, <gasps> can you film the roll when I pour it in the other one? <gasps> wow. And you can't tell that I spilled it everywhere. So there we go. It's just, it's just rum on the rocks. Rum on the rocks. rocks. I was thinking that too, Sarah Rhodes. Okay, so then we do half an ounce of lime juice. We've become hoarders of meal kit storage containers. Yep. And they're the greatest. I actually think that this had lime juice in it from a different recipe. We actually left the piece lime of tape juice. that had what it was on yeah, it. I think it was lime juice. So half an ounce of lime juice. Mm -hmm. All right, so now we just top with ginger beer. Oh look, there's that little mini dry ice. Uh... There you go. Yeah, we got dry ice. We didn't even know. Wait, wait. Chris has a fancier phone than me, and so as a result, I have no idea how to unlock it. And a little lime wedge. Pretty cool, right? The glowing cubes makes it really fun. I, I can see how this would be really cool with like the bubbling. I actually dry think ice I've had this cocktail at Stormcrow, and have, it is yeah. super cool. Yeah. Well, the release, the Kraken aspect of it, like the big bubbling, like it was like like you know, something the seas was coming from the bottom. Over. Yeah, like that's very dramatic. Drink number one. Mm -hmm. It's really good. It's kind of got, I think I feel like I remember it at the restaurant tasting more like ginger beer. And I'm getting a bit of a vanilla-y note to it, which Maybe. I don't think I've ever had. This is it, I think it's just the size of the glass. Mm. I think they have a slightly taller glass in it. Mm. Little lime juice. Oh. Covered you in lime, oopsie. Oh. Oh, de lime. Oh my God, it's so good. So. And just like look what's left. We've got, yeah. okay, this is a bad example because. Oh, no, but I think that had we used it, we'd be like here. Yeah, like Realistic. we'd probably be like no, here. maybe a little lower, but still. Like you probably One get drink. Like six drinks out of this. One drink two, each. Yeah, so we'd yeah. probably get three each. And then we still have these two. We have two plus that Like that one. little bit here. Tons of lime juice left. Yeah. Four it, lime juice. So wedges. much. Definitely worth it. So this was $55. And included a very large Ooh, cookie. Yeah. And would have included dry ice. <laughs> yeah. And but we also got a free they but, like they give you a free mug. They gave us a free shot glass. I, they gave yeah. us these cute little like little the light up. I don't know. Like you make a cocktail at home and you have like you made it from the stuff in your cupboard, but then they give you like the fun stuff. So it makes it feel more like yeah. oh it's so exciting. This little bottle itself is 1845. So if you take that out of the LCBO. Yeah, the LCBO. I don't know, like the fact that we got all this stuff, it's like they didn't even make a profit off of it. It's you're also paying for the convenience. They gave you the recipe, they gave you all the ingredients you would need. And they the experience squeezed a bunch of limes into lime juice or poured it out of a bottle, who knows? But it's no different than the meal kits. Like yeah. you're paying more for the convenience and the experience of it. And the experience of this is cool right now because it's like a restaurant prepared a cocktail for me but I can't go to that restaurant right now, so it's at home. I think it's worth it, I think it's fun. Stanley always has to get the last word in. All right, well, we're gonna drink these slowly and probably drink lots of water as well because we still have two more to go. So we will see you. No, it's not to go, it's delivery. Ha, <laughs> it's delicio. We will see you. It's DiGiorno for those people in the US. Canada's much better, just, just to admit it. We will see you right now. We're back and I'm cold. Kit number two is from Bar Raval. This is a bar in Little Italy in Toronto. Which is super cool. Super cool, here's some footage of it. Yeah. And I have never been myself in person. However, Chris has. I've been with a friend once. Stephen has never been inside. Once they reopen, we will go inside and it's yes. really cool and you should go inside. And they have really good cocktails there. So we are going to try their version of an old fashioned. So this is like definitely a more involved cocktail kits. This is more of like a gift you would buy someone, I think. Yeah. So let's open it up because I haven't actually seen inside of it. 
Oh my god, it's so beautiful. Whoa, it's so fancy. Oh, look at the little, also, it smells like, little things with like pearls. So on. good. It smells like oranges. Oh my god, and the little dried oranges. It's and these little so coasters. Cool. Oh my Let's god. Look at that. Look at that. This is like we got a like You've got them on here. You don't like have to show them. Fancy package in the mail, like. What was I just saying about keeping little containers from Yeah, I know. Kits? Like, look at this little container we just got. <laughs> so this is an old fashioned kit. So this has Maker's Mark bourbon, dehydrated oranges, I guess? Yep. These are cute. Adorable. Little stir sticks, I guess? With pearls on them. Like, <laughs> pearls on the top of them? On orange. Orange peels. So interestingly, we have orange peels, an orange, and dehydrated orange. Coasters. What was that sound? I don't know. It sounded like someone knocked over a drum kit. Spiced syrup that mm -hmm. they make in house. Bitters that they make in house. That's really so cool. cool. Let's try them. Oh, they're red. Whoa. Stanley literally just put his butthole on his orange. Oh, I get to try some. Oh, good. It's all green in here. Oh. Oh, citrus, like but like spiced. Yeah. Christmas. Yeah. Christmas citrus. Oh. Oh. It smells amazing. It does. It smells like cinnamon hearts. Okay, add ingredients to an old fashioned glass. Add three ice cubes and stir until glass starts to chill. While stirring, continue to add ice cubes one at a time. Too much will shrink the drink. I thought old fashions were supposed to be served over big ice cubes. Yeah, you could do that. So I feel like we'll do that. But we're gonna use a big ice cube. 60 millimeter, milli, milliliter, milli, 60 milliliters, which I think is just like an ounce. Isn't that an ounce? 15 milliliters is a tablespoon, two tablespoons is an ounce. Yeah, so it's an ounce. No, I think it's two ounces. No, 15 is a- Okay, is Google. A oh, you're right, 15. Yeah. It's two ounces. 15, no, 15 is a tablespoon, and two tablespoons is an ounce. Tablespoons, 50 milliliters. Two tablespoons. Oh, and 60 milliliters would be four tablespoons, which yeah. would be two ounces. You're yeah. right, okay. Two mm -hmm. ounces. Two ounces it is. We get to open this. There's like a little pull tab, which I've never seen. Wow. Before. Wow, that was satisfying. Mmm, we're gonna have cheese. I've never had that stuff. Uh, baby Bell? Baby Bell, never had it. The fact that it comes in like a wax ball grosses me out. All I wanna get is and take your money. That was a terrible rendition. No, you did a great job. <laughs> it's not the sound of a cash rendition. Ka ching No. No. Bibbity bobbity boop. Bibbity boppity back the fuck up. <laughs> hey. <laughs> no pearls for you. I love it. Oh, you wanted a hug, that's all. You just wanted a hug. Oh, baby wanted a hug. It wasn't this. Definitely not the little boppity. Look at baby. him. He's hugging me. Bye. Yeah, you probably get six drinks out of this bottle. I think it's the same yeah. as the last one. Well, it's a 375 milliliter bottle and two ounces of alcohol, so it is yeah. exactly the same as the last yeah. one. <laughs> and Maker's fun. Mark is a pretty nice bourbon. No? Yeah. It's got wax on it. It's fancy. True. <laughs> five milliliters of spice syrup. Five dashes of bitters. So I'm not really sure. They gave us an orange, and they gave us peeled oranges, and they gave us dehydrated oranges. It's our choice, I guess. I think I want the All of the above. For sure. It just says garnish with an orange zest. So I feel like let's just do a dehydrated orange for fun. Sure. You don't want to use Or the you want to do a peel or... and a... I feel like we should just eat the orange. <laughs> All right. <laughs> okay, then uh, ice, I guess. I wish I knew which one of these they wanted us to put in. I guess it says orange zest, but like... Oh, I'm doing that for sure. It's amazing how it looks like nothing and then you put the big ice cube in it and it's like, whoa. Bam, a drink. Full drink. <laughs> They smell weird. They don't smell like oranges. They smell like Whoa. a shoe store. No, to me it smells like tea. No, it smells like the shoe section of a Walmart. Oh, it smells like tea to me. Smell like shoe section of a Walmart. No, I'm not getting that. <laughs> I'm getting tea. It smells like, like it's non-essential. So here are our old fashions. Look at them. They look kind of old fashioned. They're super cute. I love that it came with so much to garnish because one of my favorite things with any kind of cocktail is garnishes. I always think that it makes me feel much more fancy. All right, All right. let's try it. Oh, it smells good. We didn't really good. stir them. He said to stir it until the, the glass was chilled. Mm. Oh, that's really good. The flavor's really good. I think it's this combined. The combo of yeah. those two. I love this one. I love the fact that they gave you choice of garnish. Mm -hmm. I love the fact that they gave you little things to make it cute. I like will say like their website mix. said that it comes with seasonal garnishes. Oh, so, maybe... so this is like seasonal, I guess. Is it orange season? Uh, ask Florida, I don't know. Welcome to our new segment, Ask Florida. What do you think about bath salts and alligators? <laughs> Great! <laughs> JK, we love Florida. Orange, you glad we made this video? This one cost This was the most expensive $70, but also the most like classy. classy. Oh. 
<laughs> yeah. I would buy this for someone as a gift. For sure. Um, you know, they made it look like it was like a gift. It was like a, an experience, um, more so than the first one that was like, here's your ingredients in a bag. Well, also the cocktail tastes like something I couldn't just make myself. Yeah. This would take so much work to do, like mm -hmm. to make the syrup to yourself, well, to make the bitters yourself. you're never gonna make yourself. the bitters they made. Yeah. I don't know uh, how to do that. Syrup, maybe. To but... dehydrate oranges. Yeah. Like... <laughs> like I can't wait, unless we consume all of it, to like have, you know, post pandemic and vaccines and whatnot. Have people here and be like, oh, do you want like, you a know, dehydrated orange? Dehydrated orange. And it's bitters. from Bar Raval. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that was a success. I love that. And I earnestly think that it's worth it. Like, they took do time Stephen to peel Alan this. Do you earnestly Eamon think that? Sorry, I was yawning because that was such a bad joke. One of Stephen's middle names is Ernest, and whenever he says earnestly, I ask him if he Stephen Allen earnestly. I have the most old Wait, man name. Is posting middle names like a bad thing? Because it might be like your security code for your banking. <laughs> no. That was fun. We're gonna go drink these and hang out because it's my day off. And we will be back when we have a third drink. Third drink. And we will show you guys that right now. Oh, there's a hair in my drink. I hope that was mine. We're back, baby. Not yet. We're back, baby! <laughs> hey, drink three. So this one was kind of cool. This one is like a, a oh. So this one is kind of cool. This is a local small business, female run business, I believe. It's called Dolly Trolley Drinks. You can see that there. This is a company that they did offer one cocktail making kit, but they seem to specialize in like pre-made bottled drinks ready to go, which is something that's become somewhat popular recently. Yeah. We got one on my birthday actually from a restaurant that Steven ordered from, and they've become increasingly popular in the newest form of lockdown that Ontario is in as they kind of loosen the alcohol laws a little bit and restaurants can sell them now. We found this, somebody sent this our way and we thought we would uh, take a look and check it out. So yeah. it's in this nice box. It just arrived like 30 seconds ago. I was downstairs grabbing it. Okay. Oh wow, look at what's inside. Oh, cute. It smells great. It came with a snack. In Ontario legally oh, to sell alcohol, if you're not the liquor store, you have to sell food. The first one we bought pizza. The second one we bought like a little snack from their bar when we were there picking it up, which was so good. It was so good. It was so good. It was like this cheese filled deep fried. We ate it already. Oopsie. So good. <laughs> and then this is the third one Dolly Trolley Drinks. Very cute. This, I think, will be to restock our nice little glass container. <gasps> really? Oh, they're limes. Ooh. Hot buttered popcorn. Hot butter popcorn. I mean, like. It's falling everywhere. I think it's silly to think that this was going to be anything more than what it is. Oh my god. I think you're silly to think that's not the greatest thing I've eaten. Oh, it's good all popcorn, day. though. It's so good. It's like movie theater popcorn. It's like really salty. Oh, there's two bottles. I'm gonna guess that this is lime juice again, but score another glass bottle. I mm -hmm. love these things. I make like homemade like coffee syrups, like to put into, into lattes and coffee and stuff, and these are so good for that. Or like a mm -hmm. homemade simple syrup, or if you wanna like infuse like an alcohol. Yeah, like, they're these are so, so good. good for that you just have them off to the side. Come on. This bizarre looking stuff. Look at that, it looks like a lava lamp. Is the actual drink. So we got, I thought this was gonna be instructions, but it's just my invoice. Oh, there it is. They have how-to videos on how to make the drink. So I guess this one is kind of a little bit of an at-home cocktail. Yeah. Kit. We bought something called an Amaro Colada. Amaro being like an Italian liqueur that's very like herbal and it's a very unique flavor if you've never had it before. And then Colada being like, you know, if you love being caught in the rain. Also, a giant bottle that's mm -hmm. also reusable. The bottle board might actually be too salty. Whoa, whoa. Oh, it's good though. Go to their website and click on the how to. Too late. It's not on YouTube. Yeah, Amaro Colada, oh. right there, the top one. This was posted one hour ago. What? She's like, hey, what? Chris and Steven, it's me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm assuming that probably that just means today might have been the first time they're selling these ones. Like this Can week is all a certain one. But it's not connecting to the AirPods. Go get mine. Where are yours? In the bedroom. Venus. Sorry, what's in the bedroom? Our pop two. Is you can tell we've had two drinks before this one because it's not going as well as the other ones. And also, when you said art pop too, I said <laughs> is. Hey everyone, Kelsey here from Dolly Trolley Drinks, and we're gonna make another classic. And then the kit is going to come with a little bottle of half lime juice and half pineapple. Oh, so, all of the so this is half juice. lime, half pineapple juice. Full ounce of the citrus mix, and then three full ounces of your Dolly Trolley mix. So it's gonna be quite a big cocktail. We're gonna give this a little shake. Oh, we're shaking. Wow, that was intense. Pour this over fresh ice, right into these really 
really pretty glasses from Cocktail Emporium. Oh, okay. We're gonna finish these off with a little dehydrated line wheel. Look how cute these are. Cheers, guys. Oh, that's so I cute. I love this brand. And they're supporting another local company, which is Cocktail, Cocktail Emporium. Emporium. So it was one ounce of this lime and pineapple mix to three ounces of this. Mm -hmm. Cocktail shaker. We have this fun. Adorable penguin. Penguin with a bow tie. I need a shot glass. One ounce of, oh yeah. One ounce, right? She said one to three, so two one ounces. Three. So we're gonna make two drinks, right? Yeah. And then... It smells like alcohol! Oh, does it ever? Mm -hmm. So that's one and a half, six. six. Perfect. Great. And grab some ice. Whoa. Is Try that. that. Good? Whoa. What a flavor. And look at how much is left. We just made two drinks out of that, and there's still all of this pineapple lime mix. That's awesome. My worry was that we were gonna spend a lot of money on this, and it was gonna make, like, one drink. Mm -mm. This is like buying a bottle of alcohol and putting it in your cupboard. Don't put me on blast for my terrible cocktail shaking techniques. Well, it, I won't put you on blast if you don't stab me in the eye with the penguin feet. <laughs> you just shake it back and forth. Nice and chilled, as you can see. Mr. Penguin is finally in his natural habitat, boozed up and full of ice. What a color. It looks like Bailey's. Mm -hmm. And a dehydrated lime. It looks like they're intending you to make six. It looks interesting. Beautiful. A model. It's like Linda Evangelista. Look at She can walk out there in a f diaper. And they're like, your smile is beautiful. That. <laughs> Clink. Clink. Oh my god. Wow. It was so good. Oh my gosh. It has like such a creamy texture to it. It tastes like it's iced. Like um Yeah, it like tastes a like blended. a blended drink, but it's not. Wow. That's really That's cool. That's really good. What a unique flavor. If you're in the Toronto area, definitely check out Jolly Trolley drinks. Yeah, I think they deliver like GTA yeah. as well and maybe a little further. I'm not sure about that. They had tons of different cocktail mixes. Yeah. The branding reminds me of like Scooby-Doo's Mystery Machine. <laughs> so this was $57. We think we'll make... Actually, I think the recipe said it made five and a half drinks. I Interesting. Think it, yeah, which is a weird number. <laughs> but two drinks each plus like a three quarters full drink each. Like yeah. that's still pretty good. It's so good though. What a fun experience this mm. was. This is very cool. And also like we've never had dehydrated fruit at home before. So, so now we have multiple to both places that did that. <laughs> I think we should take the rest of the dehydrated limes and put them in the But then they'll be mixed. How will we know which is the lime and which is the lemon? Why do you have an obsession with knives? Why is he trying to take Why? a knife out of your hand? Oh my god. He's trying to knife me. That was a great day. That was fun. That was yeah. cool and we learned things and bought things and drank things. I think that the best part of this is that you get to have like a restaurant quality cocktail. mixed cocktail. You get like a professionally built cocktail beyond what we have the knowledge to do at home. And it widens your horizons onto what to make yeah. for yourself. Like, Have you ever had a Maro before? No. Yeah, there you go. So now I have in a pina colada. Go. Yeah, who would have thought? Plus this popcorn is great. Well, thanks for watching. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, the outro is all yours. I stole the intro. I did it, I did it, I ate it. It was Fear Factor. <laughs> Subscribe if you want more. Let us know. Leave us a comment down below what your favorite cocktail is. Yeah. Um, and what bar you are most excited for opening up. What has the best cocktails in your area? Let us know in the comments. And if you don't drink, what's your favorite thing to drink? Yeah. Like, is it water? Is it juice? Is it chocolate milk? Way to make people is it sound excited. The tears you of your enemies. No, what's your favorite mocktail? Do you have like a Caesar without the vodka? Do you have a Shirley Temple, a classic? I used to love Shirley oh, Temples. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, Stanley's saying goodbye for us. We love you. Thank we you for you watching. Thank you for yep. supporting us. And uh, cheers to vaccines. Yes, get your vaccine as soon as possible so we can go eat at Barbara Bell. All right, bye. Bye. That's the song we use.